Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival. I am Zaystars. We are playing a no, public release version 1.5. And it is time. I've had my fill of Xerxian homeworld, and I feel the need the need to explore. Let's get that out of there. Oh. You seem sorted strangely. Oh, that's right, I did it by mass. Um, we are a tad low on iron, which is not good, but we are also really heavy. So I think, I think I might get this crushed stone start being made into iron. We don't need that much of it. Oh, what are you doing? You start making iron ingots. You start making iron ingots. We can, oh, getting crushed stone is easy. It's got to make the iron to make the thing. Okay, so I have plotted the course. Now this time we're going to go a little bit different. I want to, I'm going to take a quick look at each of these stops. Because who knows what we're going to find. We're going to shut off. Okay, those are off. So I don't accidentally shoot them. So Namura. Let's see what Namura has in store for us. Okay, let's hit the map. Science satellite. Ooh, let's hit the blonger. Got a little bit of iron over there. How far is that? Oh, I am not flying 16 kilometers. Nope. Nope. Holy cow. Hey, Taco Alpha. Are we still deep within Xeraxian space? We are. So the stations aren't going to be super helpful. Let's see. Let's flip over to the... Oh, we are already on the planet. Diablo's moon. Temperate small backwater. Lava snow. Ooh, this one is really close. Burnt, scorched planet. Deadly temperature differences. Lots of resources, but very difficult to mine. Well, okay. Color me interested. Moon, nascent, desert, barren, moon, snow. Okay. Color me curious. Oh my, look at all of that. See, this is why I decided to stop. Because that looks super fascinating. Yeah. Let's see. And blang the blanger blonger. Gas refinery. What the? What is going on with this place? Look at all these asteroids. <laughs> what? This is crazy. All right, let's do the 9Ks and see what we got. All right. I see some <clears throat> Xeraxians, but it said difficult to mine, so there's the closest resource. Yeah, 1.8 kph, so let, or km, so let's see what we got, shall we? This is a crazy looking planet. That's kind of crazy. Over there on the left, you can kind of see it through the darkness. What? Okay, it's a copper. We don't necessarily need copper, but we're not here because we need whatever the resource is. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It's still even all the way down here. No. Oh. Do I have my blonger? Oh, my armor needs repaired. Oops. Captain's booty. Oh, I have two of them. Yeah, it's 70... 75 meters and... Right at the surface, if we if we manage to sit right above it, now we're looking at 36 meters. So if we're able to pull the ship back, we could still hit it. It just. I have two epic drills. Okay, it's not particularly. Di oh, there's the copper right there. Am I getting copper? Wait, 
No, that's that's whatever that is. Okay. So I could do it. I would just need a ship. This I wouldn't be able to do it in this ship. I'd need one designed for planetary mining. Which I have one. So I would either need a ship that could mine underground by itself, which is a huge pain, or I would need a ship with um a cockpit that I could stand in. And and has access to the out. Hmm. Okay, let's head to our next location. Uh, let's see, which one of these? Here we go, Runabel Alpha. Now the nice thing about the waypoints, you just point at it and jump. No need to go into the map. Ha ha! I love the new waypoint system. Well, it's not really new. I think it's been around since Alpha. 12? But definitely better than, than the way it was. Okay, let's shut the engines off. There's no need for that. Let's hit the map. Let's hit the blonger. Okay. Just a couple of those. Get some money if you want. We've got a desert planet. Barren, moon, snow. Desert. Medium switch to this. Ooh, this is interesting. It's uh, space. It's empty space, but it's close. It's within an AU to the sun, so if you were to set up a base here, that'd be a good place to do it. Uh, yeah, not really seeing anything of interest. Alright, let's move to Core Beta. What the? And there's nothing here. High security asteroid field. And Inala Delta, just a space station. Hmm. Are we out of Xerox space? Not yet. Oh, okay. This is the high security for the for the mission. <laughs> for the uh okay, we're not doing anything here. For the storyline. Oh, here we are. Nekisa. Need to eat a ration pack. Hey, what's that doing in my inventory? All right. Flying the blonger. Ooh, that's close. Oh, not really. Well, we're going to fly towards it while looking at the map. Uh, let's see. What do we... Ooh, wow, there is nothing close here. Look at that. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Nothing really there. Iron. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the planets. Come on. No. There we go. That's snow. Moon barren. Barren metal. Ooh, look at all that. That is a lot of cheddar. Oh, here's another barren metal planet. Oh, this system's got a lot of resources. Oh, there's one right here. Deadly temperature differences. Lots of resources. So this is another one burnt scorched like that other system. <clears throat> it's... It, oh, it is half an AU. Okay, so that is that is definitely close. That is all sorts of crap. Oh, I think we ran into it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to mine out a little bit of this iron. which will save a little bit of fuel. Okay, got some iron. And we're going to go to Mouth Baggy. we got to be getting out. This has got to be the jump out of Xeraxian space. Because I know the Xerax and the Creole weren't too far apart. 
But we should we gotta be out of it now. Oh, that was a cool effect. Nothing. Right. Let's take a look real quick. Oh yeah, we're in the the purple. We are in the purple, and then Nekisa. Oh, Nekisa was outside. Okay. So we're in the purple now. Okay, it's another one of these. It's another one of these. Let's see. Nothing. Asteroid field. Okay. What's this right here? Space orbit. Okay, okay. Let's click on the thing. Snow planet. Another barren metal. But it doesn't look like there's any resources on it. It's kind of weird. There we go. Okay. Maybe I didn't click on this one right. Okay. Oh, for some reason, I have to click on them now. Wait. Snow planet. Yeah, if I hover over it, it goes away, and then I move off it, so... Okay. Oh, that's just space. Asteroid field. What's this one? What? Maybe I'm not... Oh, there we go. It's another barren metal. There's a lot of barren metal planets out here. Snow moon. Okay. Nothing super cool. Let's move on to the next jump, shall we? Uh, where are my indicators at? Oh, there we go. That sun was in the way. Okay, Nucky one. Two, two jumps left. I wonder what a Creel trade station looks like. I am kind of curious. I think I'm on good terms. All those Xerax that we killed. Oh, look at that. I, yeah, that's, I'd say that's high gravity. Uh, where's some more? Here we go. Oh, that's a barren metal with a couple of moons. It's kind of weird. All right. There's a lot of dead space out here. There's an asteroid field few. A junkyard. Another junkyard. Empty space. Hmm. Station trading. Okay, let's take a look at the planets then. High gravity. Oh, no, I already did that. All right, let's go here. Kind of want to hit the trade station up. We're going to go to Pluyorara Lambda. Oh, I should check. Can I do it while warping? Uh, this one? Cree. Well, I haven't encountered them yet. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Look at all that. 18 kilometer nonsense. There's a wreckage. Alright. 18 kilometers it is. Okay, we just... We just got notified. We are honored with the Creole Empire. They really, really don't like the Xerax. Yeah, we're getting plus 25 to Creole Empire every time we killed a member of the Xerax faction. And plus two for destroying a block, so all that work we did killing Xerax brought us up. We had never even met the Creel. Oh, hey, look, a cobalt asteroid. Look at all this crap. There's an antiscepter. That's one of their high level ships. Okay, Creel trading station. Let's get in here. All right, here we go into the space station. Enter, it says. Okay, welcome to... Okay, so it's a Minotaur trading station. So... I want to go down. Oh, living quarters. I bet you it's... Yep. 
So if I'm honored... No. Okay, so it's just a regular trading station. Except this guy. Oh, there he is. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to sell off some of the extra crap that I have, and then we'll just head back out. Okay, we're starting this with 1.75k. Let's see how much we get. Okay, <clears throat> so that guy, we netted 300k, 400k almost. Alright, now this guy. Okay, not much with him. Let's see if that's got the science guy. Here we are. Yeah, this guy will take the multi-tools. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Who's this guy? He sells all the weird stuff. So that guy's new. Ooh, and I can use the teleporter. SAS Leviathan teleport. Because we're honored with them. We can also teleport to Traitor and Polaris factions as well. And if I would have noticed, if I would have thought about it, I would have just teleported there originally. How you doing, buddy? Everything looking good on the charts? Thought so. Gary? How you doing, buddy? Everything looking good? Now you haven't crashed the ship too many times yet, so I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing okay. All right. So my little process for trading... Where's my outbox? Where's my blocks? I don't even know why these are over here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put these in the miner's ammo controller. So my little process is I pick an empty controller and I drop all of my personal gear into it so I can just load up on... Um, I can just load up on stuff to sell. I even put it in the hot bar. Works really well. Okay. So this is the Creole trade station. It's just like any other trade station. And I don't think there's any of these planets I want to look at. None of them seemed particularly interesting. So let's head to their homeworld and go take a look inside their homeworld. That's what I'm really excited to do. Now, I'm not going to just blow up. Just, just start attacking them, I don't think. I think I want to just look around real quick, so we'll make it quick. Since I, I don't plan on making them explode in death and decay and destruction. Okay, so... UEG-1 must be their home. Yep. Orbit Creel home. And then there's another one of these. Kind of tempted just to look real quick. Nope, that's not it. That's the Legacy Homeworld. That's, I think, my next trip is going to be to the Legacy Homeworld. It's going to take a lot of time to plot, though. Nope, that's Farpoint. Where in the living hell? Oh, here we go. 2.2 AU. There's the creel. Uh-huh. Let me tell you about how much I'm not going to do that. All right. All I see are creel ships. And since we're honored with them, I'm not too concerned about leaving the ship here. Why am I jetpacking around? Because my generators are down. That's why. Stop it. Deactivate shields to use teleporter. Trade station. 
I wonder if I can do signal logic to... Hmm, that may be something to look at. Okay, this is just another Minotaur class station. Okay, useless. Alright, to the Krill homeworld. Okay, Krill homeworld orbit, here we come. Let's see how saturated this place is. It's going to be bonkers bananas, I bet, just like all the other ones. Oh, hello, Overseer. That's quite a greeting. Look at that thing. That's their Tier 4, like, main capital vessel. Whoops. It's going at a weird... Oh, no, I'm moving, that's why. There it goes. That thing has got so many guns on it. <laughs> What's a Nexus? Creel Warp Beacon. Canium Polarium. There's a couple of ships. Those are ships. Hmm. I thought the Nexus was a planet side structure. Well, let's go find out. Okay. The Nexus is an asteroid station. It offers station services. It is very purple. It has hovering cargo containers. It's a little weird. It kind of looks like something didn't spawn in. The floors didn't render in. Huh? Hmm. That's a little weird. Doesn't appear to be an entrance. It didn't render in the entire structure. Hmm. That's too bad. I was looking forward to taking a look at that. Okay. This is a Canum Platarium. Kind of shaped like a ship? Is it a ship? There's another Accipiter. Accipiters and Overseers, man. There are a ton of them out here. <laughs> Canum Platerum. Well, I hear the sound of the alien dudes, the Polaris dudes. There's a spawner. Drone spawner. If it's a drone spawner, it's gotta be a space station. There's a lot of drone spawners. It didn't give me a a space station services warning, so or notification, so it may be a ship that's just not moving. Oh, it's let me in. Oh, it's got two double hanger doors. Whoa. What the hell's going on in here? Look at these guys. There's just guns everywhere. These guys are all in each other. Is there gravity? Yeah. The UCH will be our vessel. Our vassal, I mean. Oh my god. They're spawning so much in, my frame rate has gone to in the toilet. Uh oh. Okay. I think they're done spawning. That is so many. Our birthing pools never sleep. Uh oh. Too much gravity. Uh, sup, guy? Polaris are parasites to be removed with the most fervent of energies. Oh, that's as far as I can go. Are you following me, dude? Don't worry, my guns are put away. Trade Federation would be... Jeez, these guys are quite violent. There's another spawner. This would be a hell of a space station to assault. The robot. Oh, I can't get in there. This is insane. 
I always like the Creel's colors. There's the CPU. Yeah, it just looks... It just looks like a space station, you know? Like any of the ones you would loot from the Xerax. And its frame rate is killing me. There's too much here. I need a bad, better system. My pooter. TPU extend CPU extender 3. This is only a tier 3, this place? Alright, I gotta get out of here. Oh, that overseer slamming into it. And then that overseer over there flying around. Probably not helping matters. And then there's... Yeah, look at all that crap over here. No wonder the frame rate went to shit. Okay, Creel Homeworld. Uh, it is very purple. Which I think is fog. This is, um... An alien planet, <clears throat> to be expected, right? And this is the first little POI that I came across, so... What are you? You are heavily defended. You are something called an Insula. Man, they got player turrets. So none of this Xerax nonsense. And I forgot to change my outfit. It's alright, I'll do that and I'll fly back to the ship. It's right up there. It's not that far away. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like just a defensive structure. Nothing particularly exciting. There's that dude. Ooh. Hey, what's up, guy? Yep, you walk in. Ooh, a spawner without a spawner. Sneaky. These guys have regular spawners. They got turrets everywhere. Creel are very turret happy. There's the core. There's some more dudes with a turret staring you in the face. Okay, so this is just like a... Oh, it's got solar capacitor, which is weird because I saw no arrays, and the solar on this planet has got to be garbage. It can't be good. Okay, so we're looking at 16 rads gonna need to change out my loadout big time. Okay, what do we got here? Shielded structure. That is a lot of drones. Crash Sentinel front. Oh, it's the drone base. Oh, it's this drone base. Okay. Shield generator right there. Kind of a weird spot for it. I bet you this summons uh, Xerax. Bet you it does. Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna fly around that drone base. That's just a standard drone base. Okay, what do we got here? Would be cool to see faction specific. Um, holy crap, faction specific drones. That'd be kind of neat. This is a pylon. This is another defensive structure. Those are Xerax lasers. So they have a combination of of weaponry. Ooh, this looks large and impressive. A Centrum. Oh, dear. Hey, what's this over here? It is so dark. It is so dark here. Alright, well, let's take a look around. Ooh, it's got alien blocks. What did it just shoot? Oh, it's one of those things. So I'm seeing a mix of player turrets and Xeraxian. Okay, alright. Alright, we got our spawner. Jesus! Is that... That's excessive. That is excessive. These guys would be way more dangerous opponents than the Xerox ever are. Ooh. What's this? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> oh, yep. Alien scorpion dudes. Oh, that's the exit. This Okay, this is the Brooder. Got some Xerox lasers. That looks like a door. Looks like 
they were just shooting at something. There we are. It's nice when the when the engines shut off. Okay. What do we got in here? The obligatory assassin. Oh, so these ones are soldiers. Oh, there's a symbol on the floor. Spawner, loot container. Ooh, we got Xerax turrets now. If you ever assault this place, you need to make sure you have parasite, anti-parasite medicine. Tons of it. Tons of it. You know, it's too bad that just killing a Xerax troop gets you honored with these factions so easily. It'd be nice to have a system where you actually have to do things with them in order to uh, to gain their re their reputation. Because I'm honored. I was honored with these guys before I ever even met them. It just seems kind of weird to me. Alien Planet's my favorite starter. Project Eden. Just because it's so dangerous and so crazy. And there's no solar worth a damn. Like, solar on an alien planet is pointless. You get one or two PUs out of, out of a panel. It's just not worth it. Okay. This is something called a Vectrum. I'm not sure what's going on with the ground right here. But I'll land on their landing pad. Sure, why not? Okay, I'm seeing player turrets. Oop. Oh, it's a golem. Oh, wait a minute. It's a little different here. It's a little different here. We've got cyborgs. Assault Cyborg Old, and Assault Cyborg. Here's the core. So the Vectrum's core is pretty straightforward to get to. Oh, it's not even protected. Looks like it's armed with cannon turrets. The obligatory assassins and soldiers, of course, of course. What's happening? Why is... Why is everything so weird? No, my oxygen's not going down. My vitals aren't weird. I can still walk. I'm hovering. Oh, I am. My oxygen is going down. I'm underwater. I am under water. That's what that... Okay, it just hadn't rendered fully. So this POI, for whatever reason, is sitting on water. These guys don't seem to mind. They're just walking around like nothing. See? I'm actually swimming. Okay. So I'm guessing it got misplaced. You know, when the... The algorithm, or whatever you want to call it, decided to place this POI here. Oops, it just kind of buggered it. You know what I haven't seen yet? The Creel's main... How do I get out of here? Alright, I'm going to do one more look around to see if there's anything I missed. Any structures. There's one over there. Oh, and there's one over there. And see if there's anything really cool that I missed. And if not, I guess we'll go back out. Okay, so, I went to the moon, and so far the only thing remotely interesting looking is something called a font of knowledge. What's happening? There we are. Now, I don't know what this thing is. I need... Oh, I did put a blogger on this. Oh. What the heck? What's the temperature like? I didn't even look. Eh, negative at 89. Sweet. All right. Like this quick then. Oh, I'm not going in there. 
Nope, nope, nope. There we are. Oh, that's it. Um. Hmm. Okay. What's that drone doing? Weird. Okay, well, I mean, it's cool. A little holographic display thing going on. But nothing like super sham wowy. Nothing else on the on the moon. The rest of the moon is just boring moon stuff. Boring moon stuff. All right. Uh, well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, that the tour of the Creel and the trip to get here is enough for this particular episode. So if you like what you saw, please do all those YouTuber things that YouTubers do when they like videos. And uh, have a great rest of your day.